natural vegetation refers to the plant life which grows on its own in an area see in our homes in the gardens we go and plant the trees right but there are some places where plants grow by its own that place is known as natural vegetation for example forests nobody goes and plants trees in the forest right in forest the plants grow by its own so that is referred as natural vegetation so natural vegetation will be found in places that have been left undisturbed by the human beings for a long time the plant life of those forest or that region is known as the flora so plants will always be referred as the flora of that region and this plants vary with reference to relief and climate climate means you know weather and what is relief means relief is nothing but the difference in elevations on a surface so students the natural vegetation that is plants of india which grow by its own can be divided into five types that is tropical rainforests next tropical deciduous forests next thorn forests and desert vegetation next mangrove forests next mountain vegetation out of these five types let us first see about tropical rainforest so tropical rainforest occurs in areas which receive heavy rainfall the rainfall is so heavy that the sunlight doesn't reach the ground the forests are so dense that means there are so many trees that the sunlight does not reach the ground surface and the undergrowth in this tropical forest is limited what is undergrowth students undergrowth means see in forest we have long long trees right beneath the long trees beneath the very long lengthy trees there are small small shrubs also and bushes which grow right at a low height so beneath this long long trees there are shrubs and bushes which grow at a lower height those shrubs and bushes are known as the undergrowth of that area and this scanty undergrowth that means less undergrowth makes it easy for people and animals to move through the forest because there is less undergrowth it is easy for animals and people to travel through the forest and different species of trees are found in this forest and at one stage of life once in a year trees shed their leaves right and again they get back their own leaves that is during the fall or autumn season but here in the tropical rain forest the trees shed their leaves at very different times they always appear green and that is why they are known as the evergreen forest see forests always appear green right that is why known as the evergreen forest an important trees found in the tropical rain forest are mahogany ebony and rosewood and where are these tropical rain forests mostly found in the andaman nicobar islands northeastern straits western slope of the western ghats in this image you can see a tropical rain forest where there is more amount of rainfall students let's see the second type of forest second type of natural vegetation that is tropical deciduous forest so these type of forests are present in the larger part of our country that is india and these tropical deciduous forests are also known as monsoon forest and they are not very much dense right not so many trees are present and they shed their leaves at a particular time of a year not at different times at one particular time of a year only they shed their leaves and the important trees of this region are sal teak peepal neem and shisham and these type of forests are found in madhya pradesh state uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand chatisgarh orissa and maharashtra states of india and these tropical deciduous forests are classified into two types first type is moist deciduous forest second type is dry deciduous forest students the third type of natural vegetation is thorn forest thorn forest is found only in the dry areas of the country dry areas means areas which receive less rainfall that means more summer climate will be there in that region and this that is the reason they are also known as the desert vegetation that means forest present in those areas which receive very less rainfall and the leaves of the plants living in the desert vegetation 
the leaves have modifications what are the modifications the leaves look like needles right so plants have leaves in the form of spines or needles why do the plants have this type of modification to prevent the loss of water from the leaves you know transpiration right transpiration is the loss of water from the plant through evaporation right so to prevent that loss of water the leaves of the plants are modified into spine like structures and the roots are also modified the trees have very much tapering roots these go deep into the soil so that at least they can reach the underground water and the commonly found trees in these areas are cactus kikar babul khair and date palm and in which states of india these types of forests are found rajasthan gujarat punjab haryana and deccan plateau so in this image you see it is a thorn forest mangrove forest so mangrove forest survive both in fresh water as well as the salt water that means mostly these plants live in the water their roots are situated in the water rather than the soil so they are found along the tidal belts of the deltas where fresh water from the rivers mix with the salt water of the seas these type of forests are found sundarbans in west bengal peechavaram in tamil nadu and also andaman and nicobar islands so in this image students you can see that the forests are present near the water clock there the fifth type of vegetation is mountain forest so these type of forests are usually found in the mountain regions for example himalayan mountains the himalayan mountains have different types of plants growing on them and which this type of plants grow depending on the altitude altitude means height height of the mountain because as we go up the temperature decreases as we climb up the mountain it becomes colder and colder right so as the altitude increases the temperature decreases right so at a height of 1500 meters to 2500 meters most of the trees are found in a conical shape that is cone shaped trees are found on the mountains and these trees because of their conical shape are known as the coniferous trees an example of such trees are chir pine silver fir theodar the significance of forests forests are useful to us in many ways in our day to day lives everybody is aware of that right trees take in carbon dioxide during the photosynthetic activity 